then. Remember the questions? They were, how significant are you to others? Is your presence felt? And will your absence be noticed? I also asked who will cry when you die? And what will you be remembered for long after you are gone? I also said that as good as going to the mosque, fasting, going for Umrah, attending Islamic functions are, they are so far, far from sufficient if nothing good comes out of us from it. However, let me ask you a few questions. Are you the one who when people have a problem, they think of you? Are you the one whom when people want advice, they come to you because of your wisdom? Are you the one who, when people want to settle a dispute, they come to you because of your sense of justice? When people are hurt and they need comfort, they come to you. Maybe they are grieving or they've gone through a divorce. Are you the one who mobilizes your friends so that you can handle the medical bill of somebody who cannot afford it? Are you joining hands with some friends to sponsor someone to get a better education or further their studies? Now remember this. The deeds loved the most by Allah are those that are done regularly, even if they are small. Now we have enough ordinary people out there. I always say this. We have enough ordinary people out there doing ordinary things. Nothing. What we need is ordinary people doing small, extraordinary things. Now that would make you extraordinary. Are you the best neighbor in your neighborhood? Do you go and visit your sick neighbors, regardless of their religion or where they come from, like the Prophet ﷺ did? Do you encourage peaceful coexistence amongst people, amongst your neighbors and other colleagues and so on? Are you gifted with a voice and you use it to bring people closer to Allah through your recitations or songs or poetry? Or do you share your knowledge and wisdom through lectures with people, with humility? Or do you organize events where people can come and learn and grow? Or do you volunteer to help at events, functions, Islamic functions and so on, or at your local mosque or community center? Now, I was inspired when I traveled recently to give a lecture by a dynamic lady who had established what's called a street kitchen, where she feeds so many people without charging them a dime. And those people are both Muslims and non-Muslims. What I discovered from what she shared with me is that she had gone through a terrible divorce and her was going through depression and then she decided to do this and the distraction has brought her so much fulfillment. To get away from the hurt, she turned her hurt into healing and most importantly, she's being significant. There's no reward for being useful to others other than peace of mind and contentment and the deeds loved the most by Allah are those done regularly, however small. Everything I've mentioned are small, small deeds. And don't forget, we have enough ordinary people out there doing absolutely nothing. We need ordinary people doing small, significant things. Do you volunteer to counsel teenagers or be a mentor to them? Do you donate your time to give someone who doesn't seem to be too strong academically extra lessons? Do you give your time at an orphanage to read to them or just make them feel like part of a family, feel loved? Or are you somebody who goes and shares stories of everyday heroes through social media or through the media so that we celebrate people for what they do? Are you the one who puts a smile on people's face by telling them, well done? That is being significant. Are you a ray of sunshine for people because of your positive nature, your optimistic, or are you the one who silently likes to help? Help the underprivileged who don't know that you are a donor. Or people and birds sit under the shade of a tree. Enjoy the fruits and the shade, the coolness and the breeze and they didn't know you were the one who planted that tree. The deeds loved the most by Allah are those done regularly, even if they are small. In other communities, when people mobilize their local community, maybe to clean up litter, or speak up against some form of injustice or abuse, or assist people in times of crisis, or save um, an animal like a dog from thirst or a cat that's stuck in a tree. They become heroes, they're on the news. People celebrate them. We also need to celebrate our heroes, people who are doing small, extraordinary things. Do your part in making sure that next time you want to forward a clip or a video, that it's videos that are inspirational, videos that highlight positives in our people. Um, and in general, um, make sure you don't forward those stupid videos that unfortunately eat away at the fiber of our character. 
Now all these things I've mentioned are those deeds that are loved the most by Allah even though they are small. All these acts are being the most useful. This is Islam in motion. Islam is not as heavy as people make it seem. Now being a Muslim is a combination of being good and doing good and forbidding wrong and making sure we enjoy